Ever heard of string theory? If not, buckle up because we're diving into one of the most fascinating ideas in physics. Alright, so what is string theory? Imagine the tiniest particles in the universe. We're talking about things even smaller than atoms and electrons. In traditional physics, these are seen as point-like particles. But string theory flips the script. Instead of points, it suggests these fundamental particles are actually tiny, one-dimensional strings. Picture a guitar string. When you pluck it, it vibrates and produces a specific note. In string theory, these strings vibrate too, but instead of creating music, their vibrations determine the type of particle they are. Different vibration patterns mean different particles with unique properties like mass and charge. One of the remarkable things about string theory is that it has the potential to unify all the fundamental forces of nature. That includes gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. In fact, one of the vibrational states of these strings corresponds to a particle called the graviton, which is thought to carry the gravitational force. This makes string theory a candidate for the elusive theory of everything, but that's not all. String theory has also made significant contributions to various fields in physics like black hole physics and early universe cosmology. It's even stimulated advancements in pure mathematics. And while it started out trying to explain the strong nuclear force, it quickly evolved into a promising framework for understanding quantum gravity. Here's another interesting twist. String theory has many versions. The earliest one, called bosonic string theory, only included particles known as bosons. Later we got superstring theory which brought in fermions and introduced the idea of supersymmetry. By the mid-1990s physicists proposed that these different versions were just various aspects of a single more comprehensive theory, M-theory. This theory even suggests the existence of multiple dimensions. Of course, no theory is without its challenges. String theory's biggest hurdle is that it describes an enormous landscape of possible universes, making it tricky to pinpoint which one might be ours. And because it's still theoretical, there's ongoing debate in the scientific community about its validity and usefulness. Let's dive into one of its most intriguing concepts, S-duality. Imagine a mirror but not one that reflects your physical appearance. Instead, this mirror reveals the hidden symmetries of the universe. That's what S-duality does in the realm of string theory. S-duality suggests that certain pairs of theories which appear to be entirely different on the surface are actually equivalent at a deeper level. Think of it as two sides of the same coin. This duality is particularly powerful because it helps physicists understand the non-perturbative aspects of string theory. Non-perturbative simply means those aspects that can't be approximated by small incremental changes. When forces are strong, calculations become incredibly complex. S-duality allows physicists to transform these difficult problems into more manageable ones by revealing their equivalent simpler counterparts. It's like having a secret key that unlocks a more straightforward path through a maze of equations. Let's turn our attention to another captivating concept in string theory, T-duality. Picture a mirror, but this time it reflects not just symmetries, but the very fabric of space itself. T-duality suggests a fascinating relationship between two theories that at first glance seem entirely different. Imagine a string moving through a vast, expansive space. Now shrink that space down to a minuscule size. Surprisingly, T-duality tells us that strings propagating in this large spatial dimension are indistinguishable from those moving through the tiny one. It's as if the universe has a clever trick up its sleeve, showing us that the vast and the minuscule are two sides of the same cosmic coin. It's time to introduce you to a grand unifying theory that aims to bring together all the pieces of the string theory puzzle, M-theory. M-theory is a groundbreaking concept in physics that unifies all consistent versions of superstring theory. The M in M-theory stands for membrane, reflecting the theory's inclusion of higher dimensional objects. Imagine strings not as mere one-dimensional entities, but as slices of a two-dimensional membrane vibrating in an 11-dimensional space. This perspective shifts our understanding of the universe to an even more complex and fascinating level. M-theory suggests that these membranes, or brains, are the fundamental building blocks of our universe. Picture a vast, multidimensional landscape where these brains interact, collide, and create the fabric of reality as we know it. This theory doesn't just stop at combining different versions of string theory, it also provides a potential framework for unifying gravity with the other fundamental forces of nature. After our deep dive into the fascinating realms of M-theory, it's time to address an essential question. 
What proof do we have that string theory is more than just a beautiful mathematical construct? First, let's look at the theoretical side. String theory's elegance lies in its mathematical consistency. It requires extra dimensions, beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time, to work. These additional dimensions are compactified or curled up, in ways that are consistent with our observations of the universe. This framework not only accommodates but also predicts various phenomena, including the existence of particles and forces we observe. One significant piece of theoretical evidence comes from the discovery of dualities such as T-duality and S-duality, which we explored earlier. These dualities demonstrate that different string theories are actually different perspectives of the same underlying theory. This unification is a strong indicator that string theory is on the right track. Moving to the experimental side, while direct evidence of strings is currently beyond our technological reach, indirect evidence provides compelling support. For instance, the Large Hadron Collider (LHC) has been probing the energy scales where effects predicted by string theory might become apparent. While it hasn't found direct evidence of strings yet, it has provided valuable data that aligns with predictions made by string theory. Another fascinating area of research is the study of cosmic strings, hypothetical one-dimensional topological defects in the fabric of space-time. These cosmic strings, if detected, could be remnants from the early universe and offer indirect evidence for string theory. Scientists are continuously developing more sensitive instruments to detect these elusive phenomena. Moreover, string theory has provided solutions to long-standing puzzles in theoretical physics, such as the black hole information paradox. Now we explore matrix theory, a non-perturbative formulation of M-theory that adds another layer of complexity and intrigue to our understanding. Matrix theory, proposed in 1996 by Tom Banks, Willie Fischler, Stephen Schenker, and Leonard Susskind, is a quantum mechanical theory of D-zero brains which are point-like objects in string theory. Unlike traditional approaches, matrix theory provides a framework for understanding the behavior of strings and brains in a non-perturbative manner. This means it allows us to study these entities without relying on small perturbations or approximations, offering a more robust and detailed picture. Imagine D0 brains as the smallest, most fundamental building blocks in the universe, interacting and creating the structures we observe in higher dimensions. Matrix theory delves into the quantum mechanics governing these interactions, providing insights into phenomena that were previously beyond our reach. In string theory, black holes are not just mysterious voids but are described by D-brains. These multidimensional objects can absorb and emit strings, making them pivotal in our quest to understand the fabric of the cosmos. Imagine black holes as colossal cosmic entities, their very essence intertwined with D-brains, creating a dance of strings that reveal the underlying structure of reality. By studying black holes within the framework of string theory, scientists can explore their properties in unprecedented ways. This includes understanding their entropy, Hawking radiation and the information paradox, a puzzle that challenges our grasp of quantum mechanics and general relativity.